where are you sitting? Are that, uh, you, you have your own story, a very personal story. Just tell us very briefly because yeah. I don't have much time. Yeah, no problem. Um, four years ago, um, I, myself and my husband were expecting our third baby. We had a five and eight year old, two boys. And we found out at 12 weeks that the baby had Patel syndrome and a large cystic hygroma. Um, so we made the horrendous choice to travel over to Liverpool to have a termination. Um, my mum and dad came with us at the time and my husband and um, it was definitely the right thing for us to do at the time and since then I've actually gone on to have another little girl called Freya who was born with a cleft palate, she was born with Pierre Robin sequence, hole in her heart, hip dysplasia, like she's, she's, she's gorgeous, she's great but she had special needs, what our other baby had was a fatal abnormality and there was a huge um, difference. Well, what and do you say when, when you hear Liz, and I think Cora might have said it yeah. um, uh, earlier, Bernadette, that it, you know, it's not up to you to make that decision, well, you it, don't it, have well, that right, that's their belief. Okay, well it's more my right to decide what's best for my baby, who I really wanted, my husband really wanted, we loved our baby. We totally respect um, people like Liz that continue with their pregnancies, they need the support, we all need the support. Um, but I, as I said, it's under 3% of women that regret their abortions, under 3%. I am totally at peace with the decision I made and I believe it was myself and my husband, it was our baby that we loved and wanted and I don't believe that Cora or Liz loved my baby or, you, you know, any more than I did and it was okay. up to us to make that decision. Uh,